Hi everyone, I'm back. Today we will be redesigning our last star, the grass star fake one. You guys had a lot of ideas that I tried to incorporate into the design. Here you can see all the comments that inspired this process. I hope everyone is happy with the results. Also, Nathan Alcantara wrote some concept for Gigantamax and Mega Evolutions. I have never designed or even drawn those evolutions, so I will think about how they will fit into the region and practice the design conception first before I try designing those. Let's start with the base form. So I did change the body shape of the first stage. Since it wasn't based on an actual wild drop chick, I figured that would be okay. It is now shaped like a kiwi bird, because they are adorable. I gave it a mane of colored grass and a sliced kiwi on its side. There are also a few seeds on its beak, but I will reduce them later. In this stage it has wings but cannot fly, so I gave it strong legs to compensate. I imagine it hopping around because the legs are a bit short. After a while I decided to flip it because cast size was already looking left. The colors basically stayed the same, but I did add some purple, like the better designs of the evolutions had. Here we have the first stage of the cross starter. The chances here were the biggest, but I hope you still like this fake one. I definitely prefer this design. Next up, the evolution. Wanted to make a different pose, but couldn't figure out one, so it just stayed the same. The better design already looked a bit awkward, like second stage is all this do, and I was fine with that. People asked if I can incorporate a healing symbol like the Caruceo, so I did. Around its neck I placed the two typical snakes, but right now they are just ornaments. On its wings a little bush with healing berries. Once birds changed their feathers they look a bit weird and awkward, so it was fitting. I reduced the mane around its neck and drew it like a pseudo cool hairstyle. It still has stronger legs, but it can at least glide through the air. It now also has a tail to stabilize itself while running around. The one seed on its beak grew into another one. And the stage is done. What do you think? I think it looks better than the better design and there's a fitting stage between the first and the last one. The pose for the third stage stayed the same, cause I kinda like the better version, but it will of course have design changes. For some reason I messed up the beak and couldn't get it right until the end when I decided to trace the original one. 
In this stage, the snakes around its neck act on their own will and are no longer just ornaments, so I wanted to draw them more dynamic, which was not that easy. Besides, the grass man added leaves around its neck like the whole thing on a plague doctor. Now its wings not only have bushes with berries but also seeds. When it flies over deserted areas, it often releases those seeds to plant new life. This stage has a longer tail, reminiscent of the Archaeopteryx one, which you can see in the references. It can finally fly, but is still able to run around, which makes it an excellent fighter in the sky and at the ground. I don't draw wings that often and I think it shows on how many attempts it took me to fix the one wing. I made the purple in this stage a bit darker because it is supposed to look a bit more scary. It also has no pupils, which I figured made it look dead inside, which is the complete opposite of this fake one since it is actually the bringer of life. Here we have our last starter. I hope it looks enough like a final form and fitting for a starter. I know for the bringer of life theme it may look too dark, but I wanted the design to be the opposite of what it is actually doing. Since Gen 7 already had an ashy but grass type starter, I tried to make the design not too similar. I hope I achieved that goal. Next to them we see the third choosable protagonist. Official Pokemon games only have a male and female protagonist to choose from, but I didn't want to limit anyone. I tried to come up with a neutral design, not sure it worked though. Once I redesigned the protagonists, I tried to come up with something better. If this was a real game, others would refer to this character as they, them. Their name is Alex, it's one of the only unisex names I found that was fitting, the meaning is Defender Warrior. So for now that was the last video of the starter fake moon since we redesigned all three lines. Here you can see all three on the screen and their typings. Which one would you choose to start your journey with? And here are the full concepts explained, you can pause if you want to read it. In case you still can't decide, here are the shiny versions. I'm not that great with colors so I just used the tool in Procreate to change those. Maybe it helps you pick your future starter fake mon. I really hope you liked this video and will continue the journey through this region. By the way, I decided to name this region Germansburg region, like this comment has suggested. Next up will be the regional Roland. I know people are usually not too interested in these Pokemon or Fakemon, but I think I came out with a cute and cool design. If you like this series and want to help me with the algorithm, please leave a like, subscribe to not miss any new videos and leave your ideas for future Fakemon if you have any. See you in the next video!